Well, the latest propaganda effort to introduce your children to the new totalitarian society comes by way of Disney. They've unveiled a new cartoon series where camera-equipped ladybugs spy on kids and then report back to a central authority. This is predictive programming to get your children to accept the coming drone surveillance police state. We warned you about this way back in 2007. DARPA researchers were figuring out how to inject computer chips into moth pupa and then hatching them into healthy cyborg moths. The hybrid insect microelectromechanical systems project aims to create literal shutterbugs, camera-toting insects whose nerves have grown into their internal silicone chip so that wranglers can control their activities. Unfortunately, the coming drones won't be friendly little ladybugs. There'll be swarms of killer suicide drones intent on killing anyone who doesn't surrender power to the state. Unobtrusive, pervasive, lethal, micro-air vehicles, enhancing the capabilities of the future warfighter. The U.S. Air Force is developing tiny unmanned drones that will fly in swarms, crawl like spiders, and even sneak up on unsuspecting targets and execute them with lethal precision. Disney's Shutterbug isn't the only cartoon that's out there acclimating your children to this dystopic future. The TSA has rolled out their own indoctrination cartoon, Stop Screen Go, the agency that was set up to purposely obstruct, harass, and train the American public will now condition your children to be compliant with their invasive pat-downs and wholly ineffective nude body scanners. And Disney's also showing that being perpetually tracked via biometrics is just part of another day at the happiest place on Earth. The CIA-connected company has moved beyond just fingerprint scanners at the front gate. Now they have the Magic Band RFID bracelet. It tracks you through your entire trip, working as a door key, a ticket, and a credit card. But most frightening, it creates an online profile for each family member that can be accessed by the costumed characters. So if you were concerned before about your kids talking to strangers, just wait till you find out that Mickey is actually a middle-aged man with no background check who now has access to their name and birth date.